This is One on One. Lisa Schustack, an art teacher at Redwood Elementary School in West Orange, New Jersey, part of our Classroom Close-Up Initiative in cooperation with the NJA. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Steve. We're about to see a clip from the Classroom Close-Up series uh, that airs on our uh, station, public, station, public television station here in New Jersey, NJTV. Uh, check it out. This is uh, part of an interesting initiative called GEO, Global Exploration Educators Organization, real quickly, which is? Uh, a travel program for educators. Um, they have teachers from all over the country traveling to different places, um, and it's a fabulous program. And uh, this was a trip that you took to Turkey? Yes. And I'm the whole idea is to come up with great ideas from traveling, bringing it back into the classroom. This is from Classroom Close Up, NJEA, great stuff, check it out. was inspired by my travels. I went to Turkey this summer. Redwood Elementary art teacher Lisa Schustak has a passion for travel. For the past three years, she's trekked around the world with global exploration for educators. One of her goals, to inspire her students to gain a greater appreciation for art and travel. Art from around the world is so different and so visually interesting to me that I love to bring it back for my students. I often think of them when I'm away and how I can incorporate these things into lessons. These are really um, pretty, fun, and inspirational for our art project. This morning, her second graders are about to make yes. evil eyes, a Turkish symbol for good luck. Do people speak English in Turkey? Oh, that's a great question. A lot of people spoke English and they also speak Turkish. I think this is cool because we get to paint it and it looks better painting than drawing. It's kind of cool because it has like different kind of colors and I have, like lots of colors. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. Look how many are on this one. This afternoon, she teaches her fourth graders about the symmetrical designs she saw in Turkey. This was inspired by the Turkish motifs, the Turkish designs. As you can see in a lot of their buildings, they have uh, radial symmetrical designs. These are all from Turkey, all of these colored little cards. I have been working with a radial symmetrical design with the fourth graders, and that's what inspired me to incorporate creating a tile based on different Turkish motifs that I brought back. Whenever she goes somewhere, she gets an idea and then tells us about it, and so it's like we're learning a lesson all about the place. I saw an article about teachers who had traveled, and I thought, wow, I would like to do that. The thought of traveling with other teachers and having that common bond immediately was just perfect for me. We visit schools in these other countries, and so going in and to see classrooms is very, very fascinating to see um, how education is in other countries. Did you guys see this? No. Ooh. Whoa. It's like that big lot of eyes on yeah. That thing could probably see everything. Yeah. How great. It's fabulous. What makes it so great? Two things. I love my job and I love to travel. Mm -hmm. And I love to incorporate the two things together. Where did the, the whole idea come from? I mean, did someone say to you, hey, you need to do this? You love to travel. You love to teach and put it together. How did it come to you? It just came to me. I've always liked to travel. I've always liked to explore the world, different countries, different places. Um, I love to teach. I love art. Art is universal. Art, it's everywhere. Mm. And um, during the course of traveling, even just in my daily life, if I happen to see something that's inspiring for a lesson, you know, I think I'm always teaching. I'm always thinking about teaching. You did the same thing in India, right? Yes. Describe when was that trip? That was in 2010. I went with the same organization. You came back and you said, I'm going to teach what? From the trip to India, I taught, um, we, I showed them um, 
the Indian flag. Mm -hmm. I showed them pictures of elephants. I showed them the pictures that um, of me riding the elephant. And um, this was with a first grade student. We did um, an image of a, an elephant on a flag and did it with, um, via a collage, which is cutting and gluing. First drawing, cutting, gluing, and putting the whole thing together. As I'm watching you do this, I'm thinking to myself, great teachers never stop learning. Yes. True. <laughs> Absolutely true. Absolutely true. It's dangerous if you think, <laughs> I mean, do you ever see, does it concern you that, I mean, obviously it's not going to happen to you, but the teachers we've had, the great educators, they, they just see themselves as constant learners. I mean, it's different ways that they go about it, but this is your way, isn't it? That's one of my ways, yes. I, um, I have a lot of different interests. I'm actually, um, I'm taking a workshop this weekend about um, learning about hor the spawning of horseshoe crabs and the migration of birds. Really? Yes. Will you bring that back into the classroom? I hope to. That's also a program for teachers, and that's through the New Jersey Conservation <sighs> Society. Why is it so important that you bring ideas from, and experiences from around the world back into West Orange, into the classroom? Why, why do you think that's so important? Um, I feel that it's very important because I think a lot of these children may not get to these other places. Perhaps um, some of their ancestors are from some of these other countries and maybe they haven't been there. When I went to India and I returned, I put together a PowerPoint presentation, which I show to the students. And it came out, I'm very happy with the results. And the students love it. They eat it up. They have a million questions. And they really feel almost as if they've been there. One to 10, how much you love your work? 10. Definitely. Definitely. After you've taught for a few years now. Yes. Still 10. Still 10. Love my job. Keep traveling. I will. The kids are getting the benefit. I'm going to Spain this summer. With, <laughs> you are. With my cousin, who is also a teacher. She teaches in California. And the two of us hope to come back and do a collaborative lesson together. I bet you will. Yes. Lisa Schustek. Yes. Our teacher, Redwood Elementary School in West Orange, New Jersey. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. This is why we do a series like this. Classroom close up. Thank you. Stay right there. Don't go. Don't go. Oh, what do you have? Another trip you have to no. take? No, no, no. You're in Patterson. Stay stand in Patterson for two minutes, will okay. you? There are things to learn. Stay right there. Okay. We'll be right back right Sorry. after this. Where are you going? One on one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association. Activists in cooperation with the American Medicine Chest Challenge. Choose New Jersey, NJIT, Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, Berkeley College, and by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.